we're at UDT 2025 just outside Oslo in Norway. We are now on the booth of uh, French defense electronics company Safran, who is showcasing its uh, optronic solutions for submarine applications. The company is now applying its uh, proprietary AI algorithm technology to help with the image processing and identification, classification and so on of videos uh, taken from the submarine's uh, optronic mast. To find out more with me today is uh, Pierre-Olivier Nouguez, Senior Vice President of uh, Naval Sales at Safran Electronics and Defense. Pierre-Olivier, good morning. Great to see you. Yes, uh, good morning, Xavier. Great to see you. So, Pierre-Olivier, what are the main benefits of uh, AI algorithm uh, applied to uh, your optronic masts? We are focusing on three different areas uh, for using AI uh, with optronic masts. Um, the first area is uh, what we call image restoration. So essentially, we're trying to compensate for any uh, imperfections uh, from on images that are uh, resulting from sensors imperfection, also from the environment, such as uh, you know uh, the weather. This is uh, an area where we are using then the images either as interpreted by an operator or also to feed into uh, another layer of uh, processing, such as automatic detection. Uh, tracking and potentially also classification, identification. Okay. And lastly, the third area of uh, application of AI is for uh, navigation. We are offering also uh, solutions where we can use uh, visual cues to, uh, to get an accurate fix on the, the submarine position, uh, which is complementary to the uh, use of inertial navigation, especially when coming at periscope depth, you cannot uh, uh, rely necessarily on GNSS uh, in all uh, in all situations. So, is this uh, technology currently in development, or is it available today? Is it already in service with uh, some navies around the world? So, we are different stages of uh, TRL for uh, the different uh, applications I've just mentioned. Image restoration today, we have implemented uh, various algorithms that are actually running in real time. Uh, we are using uh, typically our ACE uh, cube. Uh, we have a de dedicated computer uh, uh, that we can offer um, to uh, perform this. Uh, so we are uh, able to provide those, uh, those features as part of our uh, offering. Uh, some other applications are still at uh, lower TRL, like uh, 5.6, and we are working closely with uh, users to uh, focus our efforts onto the most, uh, let's say, useful uh, areas. And this applies uh, to both uh, the attack mast and uh, the search uh, optronic mast? Uh, correct. The um, search mast has uh, the particularity of being able to provide, you know, full uh, panoramic scans. Uh, so there are more uh, pixels to process. Uh, but this is what we see uh, here on the top? Uh, yes, absolutely. So uh, the uh, optronic mass is, uh, is like a passive radar, okay, providing uh, all types of uh, video uh, images in the uh, uh, visual spectrum, infrared spectrum, uh, in low light conditions and in daylight conditions. Lastly, Pierre-Olivier, can you please share with us uh, some of the existing users of your uh, optronic mass solutions? Yes, uh, so currently uh, we have our optronic mast uh, on the uh, Barracuda class submarine, you know, the Suffron of the French Navy. And also uh, uh, we are selected on the, uh, uh, also the export versions uh, of Barracuda, uh, uh, the Netherlands in particular. Uh, and we are on the Scorpion class also uh, for, the, for export. And for uh, uh, foreign platforms, uh, we are uh, on the... Uh, uh, Swedish platforms, the, the Gotland class for the refit, uh, and also the, the new Blekinger, uh, the future um, Swedish submarine. And uh, South Korea, we're on the KSS-3, uh, various batches of, uh, of that submarine. Very well, Pierre-Olivier. Thank you very much. Thank you.